Thanks for watching Digging Deep, where we're digging into a little bit of everything. Jack of all trades, master of none. That's what he do. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in here and thanks for watching Digging Deep. I am going to try not to use my hand so much because I've noticed that in the previous videos. That I'm a hand talker, so you're going to have to deal with that. So what we're doing today is working on the Mongoose Bash once again. I did put out a video saying I was 100% complete, but that is not the case. Uh, come to find out, I am very paranoid on running these ZTC... Z TZ racing front forks. Yes, I know I got the Fox emblem on the side. I fooled a lot of people already. I guess so. But it's time to get these forks off of here because I pushed these things to the limits and I've seen plenty of videos out there already where they tear these things apart and it even has a sticker on it uh, saying no downhill basically it says no aggressive riding mild trail riding is probably all this fork is designed for and yes I have had it apart I took out some spacers and gave myself about five millimeter more of travel but now it makes an annoying sound on the rebound side of things um, this fork definitely is a mild trail rider and I have been pushing the limits on it We'll have to wait and see what fork we have coming in here today. It should be coming by uh, within the next hour or so, and we may even hear the truck pull up. Um, but I'm going to surprise you all with what fork we're going to throw on here today. It's time to get this bad boy off here, and what I'll probably do is put it on my wife's bike, which is stock. Um, in my last video, if you've watched, I've had a little trouble with the DNM shock. Um, and I think it may be, you know, maybe I'm running too low of a pressure. I think 90 is the minimum on this. So I've been playing around with it. It has been holding up so far. And again, I may even be pushing this shock to the limit a little bit on where I ride at, uh, based on my uh, riding ability. And, well, yeah, we can't go far with that based on how hard uh, I run this shock. Um, I talked in the past about maybe... Uh, changing the travel I'm sticking to 120 millimeter um, <clears throat> this is basically a mild trail bike and that's all I'm going to get out of it. it's going to make a good uh, it would make a good like stunt jumper or, or uh, a, you know a dirt jumper bike but as hard as I'm running this bike it's probably too much but I want to surprise people and I want to show people what I can do I may beat myself up a little bit doing it, but until I get another bike, we're going to push this bike to the limits. Let's get this fork tore off and prepare for the new fork install. And we got some rock shocks. So what we got is nothing crazy. It's uh it's a name brand shock, obviously. But we just got the Judy Silver TKs, the 120 millimeters. I'm excited to get these things out and compare these before we put them on. I am like a kid at Christmas. There she is. 
out of the box. We got to compare these shocks before we even get them on the bike. But right off the back, you can notice one thing is the 30 stanchion. It's just a little bit more narrow than the 32, but that's okay. I'm not really that concerned. Um, I'm just glad to have a shock I can rely on and buy rebuild kits or whatever um, for the shock. This Chinese shock, that's not going to happen. Pretty much, I think this is going to be a throwaway unit. I'm still going to put this on my wife's bike and we're going to mess with this shock and give it a chance. Like I say, I put it uh, to plenty of, of abuse and she was still kicking. Not the best feeling shock in the world, but it was better than stock. I'm excited to compare the Chinese shock to this rock shock. I evaluated both of these shocks and the rock shock feels so much more sweet in the rebound pop and it just feels a lot smoother. I thought it was going to come in a little heavier because a lot of people were saying about the weights a little heavier. Uh, I think the stanchions um, may be steel but the rest is aluminum. Uh, but I can't tell too much difference in there but let me tell you something when you press this shock in there's a difference so this is not going to be a full tutorial on comparing the two shocks for sure um, but I am going to give my input input on the Chinese shock uh, to the name brand shock and kind of evaluate the fill within uh, the fill from having both shocks on my bike but what I want is confidence and I'm hoping the rock shocks going to give that to me Again, probably one of my So after much aggravation, um, my cut was just a hair long, so I had to take everything apart and file it down. And it now doesn't, it just had just a little bit of play in it. And so I had to follow, uh, follow, file down the steer tube um, just ever so slightly, probably about a sixteenth of an inch. And now we're solid with no play. It was just a little bit of play and the cap couldn't bite down enough uh, to pull the stem and everything in as tight as it should be. All right, I'm a little nervous, but we're coming in hot. Oh my god, what a difference. Be a good way to put these forks to the test. Oh my gosh, dude, so much better. So much better. Wow. And we overshot that one. 
Whatsoever. <clears throat> Been grinding all my life, baby. Oh my god. It just woke this freaking bike up. Eat it. <laughs> oh, lost that one. We lost that one, dude. Be a good way to put these forks to the test. Well, who would have guessed? Rock shocks for the win without a doubt. And as you can see, I just did this rock drop. It's a new feature to the yard, and that was eating my old suspension up. I really just didn't have any kind of confidence and it felt horrible dropping off this. Now I know I may have maxed it out when I went off this, but it felt so much better. They are a world of difference. We also have a rock shock rear u shock on the way and i'm excited to get that on too folks again thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come oh my gosh dude so much better so much better wow and we overshot that one Yeet.